Hey, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm carving a fireplace mantle for my parents' new porch they just finished on their house. They love birds, so I designed a pair of cardinals resting in the pine boughs. It took me approximately 46 hours to complete, and the mantle is carved out of one solid piece of white pine wood. The design is relatively simple being one layer, and I created it to where it's reflective so both sides are the same. This not only saved me some time during the design stage, but it also gives the carving a nice symmetric appearance to it, which I think looks really nice and clean. First thing I did here was outline the design and start to carve away the background. I'm not being too fussy, I'm removing wood pretty quickly here. My plan was to carve the background at around 1 inch in depth. I felt that was a good starting point, and because of the one layer design, I could easily make adjustments if needed. The main pine branches in the piece I carved back about halfway from the forefront to the background. This gives me room to shape the pine needles, which will be tapered back towards the branch. I'm just giving the pine needles a general shape here, keeping the main structure intact. I rounded the pine cones as well and carved in their connection to the branch. I repeated this process throughout until the entire mantle was shaped. As I shaped the carving and cleaned up some key areas to the outline, I carved deep, clean strokes slanting in towards the design throughout the mantle. I really like this style because it creates a lot of depth and dynamic lighting, and it really makes the design pop out from the background. I think it gives the mantle a unique carved look to it as well, which I've actually been incorporating into a lot of my recent past carvings.
wanted the cardinals to appear as though they are courting to the viewer, so I rounded their main body, then tapered their heads, giving the appearance that they are looking out slightly. I carved away the eyes and wings temporarily, and once I was happy with its shape, I was able to redraw the design using a caliper. I carefully carved in the beak and sanded it with a small file. I was honestly very fortunate with the knot placement in this large piece of wood. There was only a couple knots in the entire carved portion of the mantle and none were located in crucial areas of the carving, like the cardinals. I wasn't let off completely unfazed though unfortunately. There was one large knot located in the branch and pine needle area. I had to use my mallet quite a bit here and due to the unpredictable nature of carving a knot, I had to be really careful. It's very dense and hardwood, but they can be very easy to break off accidentally. With the mantle all shaped, it's time to move on to the best part, carving in the details. This is when the carving comes alive, so make sure you watch part 2 to see the detailing process and the mantle completed mounted above the fireplace. As always, make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.